Hello, this is Miguel Arcon, engineering intern here at Ceratech, and welcome to another episode of our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Today, we'll be looking at creating a beam property with a custom cross section. I will take you through the steps necessary to create a beam property using a user defined custom cross section. Now, the first step is to create the beam property, navigate to the model, then select the property command from the drop down menu. If the element type is anything other than beam, click on the element slash property type button and then select beam under the line elements category. The beam properties will be calculated by Femap after the cross section is defined. In order to do so, click on the shape button. In the cross section dialog, click the arrow beside the shape option and then select the general section under the shape. You will now note that the surface button will now become available. And we're going to go ahead and select our surface. Click OK to continue. Now we need to define the beam Y axis by selecting two points along a line. In the cross section definition box, select flip horizontal and select left for their orientation direction. Now click OK to continue. Notice that the beam properties are now populated in the Define Property Beam Element Type dialog box. Now click OK to continue again. You will then be prompted to create a material, so go ahead and click Yes. Then select Load to choose a material, and you can choose any from the list. Now click OK for all dialog boxes. Next we're going to create a curve and mesh the curve with a custom beam property. Navigate to Geometry, select Curve Line, and then select the Coordinates command from the drop down menu. For the first point, select the midpoint. Now for the second point, select the midpoint and then subtract 20 units in the Z direction. Now click OK to continue. You have this line created. Next, navigate to Mesh, select Mesh Control, and then Size Along Curve, and go ahead and click the new curve that you just created. Click OK, and then set the number of elements to 20. And then go ahead and click OK. Now to mesh the curve with the beam property created, navigate to Mesh, select Geometry, and then select Curve, and then go ahead and click the curve you created. Click OK to continue. Go ahead and make sure that the beam property is selected under Property, then go ahead and click OK. It's not going to prompt us to define element orientation vector. Go ahead and input desired numbers. Now click OK to continue. Now click on the View Geometry toggle on the Entity Display toolbar to turn off the Display All Geometry. Now to add a fixed constraint to one end of the beam, navigate to Model, Constraint, and Create slash Manage Set and then click New Constraint Set, 
and go ahead and give it a new title. And click OK to continue. Go ahead and click Done. Then go to Model, Constraint, Nodal, and then select the node on the other end of the beam. And go ahead and click OK to continue. Now in this dialog box, make sure to click Fixed, and then go ahead and click OK to continue. Now to create a force load on the other end of the beam, navigate to Model, select Load, then select Create slash Manage Set. Go ahead and select New Load Set. Now give the load set a title and then click OK. Then navigate to Model, Load, Nodal, and then select the node on the opposite end of the fixed end. Go ahead and click OK to continue. Then apply a load in the Y direction of negative 5 pounds. And click OK. Lastly, to analyze a model, go to Model, and Analysis, and go ahead and click New. For this analysis type, we'll select Static. Now go ahead and select the analysis set and click Analyze. This concludes this exercise. If you have any questions about anything covered in this tutorial, please be sure to ask your questions in the comment sections down below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more tips and tricks tutorials like this one. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.